Hello guys, it's LNS here once again. Um, it's time bringing you another war game European escalation video. Uh, however, I'm uh, gonna be uh, giving you guys a uh, basic introduction and a tutorial to this game for those who who might have it and uh, to those who might get it. So basically, um, hold on here. Alright, basically I'm just going to show you the uh, basics of this game, just as an introduction. Uh, because this game is set to be released on the 24th of February, so it's two more days before this game is released. So uh, it's in a beta stage now, and there's only multiplayer, as you guys can see here. This is the lobby. Uh, more, about, more about that later. I'm going to show you guys first the armory. Alright, basically this game, uh, the whole gist of this game is... Uh, you either start off as the NATO, you can either be in as the NATO or as the Warsaw Pact. And um, for each of the uh, factions, you can get access to. For example, if you went for, if you want to go for the NATO army, you can you can select your units via uh, these four nations. Uh, I guess this is Germany. Uh, this is I think communism, communist Germany or something here. DDR. Uh, for NATO, you get this uh, Germany, France, United Kingdom, and. Uh, USA, and uh, you guys can see that uh, there's a shit ton of units. Basically, there are different type of types of units. I'll go through uh, some of them. I'll go through all of them uh, really quick here. First, there's the logistic. Uh, for logistic units, you get uh, these command vehicles. There's a star beside them. Basically, what you do with these command vehicles is uh, you put them in an area of a map, uh, and you get points. And uh, different areas of the map have different points. So you want to protect them when you put uh, your command vehicles in a po uh, in an area to get a points because they cost a lot. All right, and uh, for logistics, there's also the uh, supply vehicles. As you guys can see here, uh, it's a Chinook, Super Chinook for the USA and Chinook for the UK and then there's this uh, forward operation base uh, this is a static supply, kind of like a supply depot where you place at the start of the at the start of the battle and uh, you can, your units, because all your units have ammunition and fuel then they will run out uh, if, it, if your units run out of ammunition they can come back here and if they are low on fuel they can come back here as well and uh, refuel and uh, we supply the ammunitions. All right, there's uh, trucks, supply trucks, and also uh, helicopters, supply helicopters. So let's move on to recon. Uh, basically, in this game, because the map is so big, you need recon vehicles to give your guys uh, sight and to identify the enemy types, so that your uh, units, such as your tanks and your helicopters, can engage. Because your tanks and helicopters and infantry uh, have very little. Uh, not not that great of an uh, optic, as you guys can see here. And uh, if I c you can see the optics for this uh, supply helicopter is poor. But if I click on this, for example, recon helicopter, the optics is very good, so they can see very far and uh, allows your units to shoot. Cause most of the units can shoot further than they can see, so you have to rely on all these uh, recon vehicles. Uh, you get recon he uh, helicopters and rec uh, recon vehicles like armored recon. Yep, and you get these uh jeeps there's a jeep i can't find it i don't think there's a jeep for uh, nato but there's a jeep recon jeep for oh there we go recon jeep they are really cheap but uh, they're really vulnerable as well or you can get the uh, bradley fighting C cfv um, they, are, they are recon unit but they're also armed with uh, auto cannon and uh, atgm and they are armored as well uh, you guys have probably seen them in action uh, from my previous few videos and that's also the uh, recon copter with a uh, variant. Uh, this one has a uh, ATGM anti-guided missile, anti-tank guided missile, Hellfire, the same ones used uh, on the Apaches. So yeah, this is the uh, basic knowledge of the recon vehicles. Now we go on to tanks. These are the going to be the main powerhouse of your army if you are uh, uh, if you like your tanks. Uh, basically, they are the frontline units which destroys other tanks and vehicles. And uh, you can see they have normal optics, which means they still need uh, recon to uh, identify enemy targets because they shoot pretty far, about uh, about 1.9 km with their main gun for most of them. 
and the more expensive ones are the ones with uh, very good armor and a very good stabilizer basically what the stabilizer does is uh, it allows the uh, inc it means that it has a higher chance of hitting the target while it's moving so uh, compared to uh, well, the Warsaw pack tanks they have uh, pretty bad stabilizers but they are cheaper so but they have to stop and shoot but while uh, the NATO tanks can uh, shoot while they are moving giving them, a, giving them an advantage Alright, these are some just uh, some of the examples. Uh, USA get the Ab Abrams. All right. Uh, let's move on to infantry now. Okay, for infantry, there are a shit ton of infantry, but uh, basically, what the infantry unit does is uh, it allows you to fuel fuel the uh, different types of infantry. There's uh, recon infantry. They have very good uh, optics, very good sight range. So you can put them in front, in front, in front of your army to uh, to allow them to have sight, and uh, you can see the plus something behind. For example, this unit over here is a uh, recon rifle unit, uh, SMG unit, uh, with it comes with a uh, Puma transport chopper, and uh, you can choose uh, like f although some of them are the same uh, infantry unit, they come in different transport vehicles. For example, this uh, USA anti-tank ground missile unit comes in a uh, armored vehicle, and this one is the same infantry unit, but it comes in a Bradley fighting vehicle. Uh, so it's better because the Bradley has uh, an auto cannon and the ATGM missile, so this uh, only has a heavy machine gun. So you can decide on what you want, and this comes in a Huey uh, transport heavy. Uh, of course, as the transport gets better, the uh, cost of the units increase. And there are a lot of different types of uh, units for the NATO pack, as you guys can see. Different weapons as well. So you can, uh, there's a lot of diversity in this game, to be honest. See, look at the mouth infantry, holy crap. Uh, I've got my uh, rifleman in uh, Huey because I like to transport them fast around the map. Rangers with, uh, in the Bradley, they are equipped with uh, sand missiles and the air. Alright, let's move on to support. Um, this is probably one of the most interesting uh, unit types because uh, it involves it includes artillery, anti-air artillery, and uh, multiple launch rocket systems. All right, for example, uh, you can see uh, SAM systems to take out uh, air vehicles, um, self-propelled artillery, howitzers, etc. These are just some of them. Uh, I've got my Paladin unlocked. Uh, this is a self-propelled artillery. It comes with a main gun as well for defense, just in case enemy gets to it somehow. And it's pretty expensive as well. Artillery is quite expensive in this game because uh, the makers try to prevent people from spamming it. Um, most uh, there's a model carrier. There's a model carrier as well. Yep, this is a model carrier. And uh, for the NATO, uh, they only have one. Um, multiple launch rocket system which is the USA's uh, MLRS pretty good but uh, really expensive as I said before this is just a SAM, SAM missile vehicle to take out air vehicles yeah. and then there's also the flak flak guns which shoots very fast but the range is quite uh, less compared to the missiles Alright, next we move on to uh, vehicles. Um, basically, all these vehicles are just transport vehicles that the infantry are in, so you can check them out before by unlocking uh, the the types of infantry with their transport vehicles that you want. As you guys can see, this is uh, quite crappy. It only has a machine gun on it, and there's also uh, tank destroyers special vehicles and uh, I've, I've, I've used, I'm using this <laughs> this is, this jeep is awesome and it uh, it's basically an anti-tank jeep it carries uh, missiles accuracy is pretty good as well especially this one and uh, they only cost 25 uh, points in game so uh, you can just use them as long as they are covered by uh, infantry fighting vehicles or tanks from a larger caliber shells they are alright against other tanks of course this is my my uh, Bradley vehicle that I always use, unlocked it. Pretty good. I like uh, I like light light armor a lot. Uh, mixed in with uh, attack uh, choppers, they work pretty well. It's another anti tank jeep that I didn't unlock for France. Alright, next we'll head on to helicopters. Um, 
This is the part that I like a lot because I use helis a lot. Uh, this is the basic Cobra gunship cop, cop, uh, chopper that the US gets. And these are the variants of it. They are better of course but they are co they cost uh, more expensive as well. And this is the Apache. This is like the best uh, gunship helicopter in the game. Uh, the only uh, kind of counter to this is the uh, Warsaw Pax, uh Havoc uh, gunship helicopter but it's still uh, this is still better but it's really really expensive 175 points so you don't want to lose them because if you lose them uh, your enemies get a lot of points for killing it and there's a transport chopper it's basically the same thing as vehicles where you can see what type of your infantry your what type of vehicles that your infantry are in all right so uh, basically for this uh this part of the video is part one. It's just a basic introduction to the game and some then all the units type. Uh, for the next video, I'll talk about uh, command stars and leveling up, as well as uh, giving you guys a brief overview of uh, Warsaw Pack. Because this part of the video, I'm only talking about NATO. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, tutorial series that I'll be making for this game. And if you have any feedback, be sure to write in the comment section below. And until uh, then, I'll see you guys soon.